Opposition is the fifth and final book in the Lux series and it is about aliens, there's an alien romance, some battles going on, like a rebellion sort of thing and it's like oh my god there's hybrids and it's just it's so so cool. I'm doing my thing like a chicken wing and if you want to know where that's from then you need to read this book, Opposition, by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And that is what this video is going to be about today, folks. Hello, I am Katie, and I'm bringing you my book talk on this amazing book. And, oh my god, it's not released officially yet, so I'm so, so just grateful and lucky and that I just, that I just got this early. I can't express my thanks to the world, because obviously it was God sent that this just landed in my mailbox. This is my copy. It's a special collector's edition and it also contains the prequel shadows. I have put a little tab where the prequel starts. It's just about here. So this much of the book is how much opposition is. So 354 pages. Just like with Origin, Opposition has alternate perspectives from the two main characters, Katie and Damon. There's loads and loads of action in this and just so much suspense. My heart was actually in my mouth for the majority of this book. I think I felt like I just couldn't breathe at certain times. I was just like, Ugh. It's very, very realistic. There is just so, so many twists and turns inside this book that you're just like, oh my god, and just so much is going on that when you think it all calms down and something else happens and you're just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And there are quite a few deaths in this book as well. I found this book to be quite sexual <laughs> because obviously it's an alien romance and just at times I was just like, is this really happening? In this book because it was really realistic because it does happen between couples and you're, you're just like well blimey I freaking love this book I just think it was just so perfect and it ended the series like really well it's really cute and I was just like oh my god and now it's over I'm literally on a book hangover because this book was just perfection in so so many ways it was just exquisite and I love this series so much and it's going to be one of my favourite ever series. I read the other books in the series, the other four books, really, really fast and I wanted to just, I just, I just don't know what to say because it was just so amazing. Completely worth reading this series. If you haven't done already, I suggest that you do go read it and then you can continue on with this video because I'm now going to be talking about spoilers that are in the book. So goodbye normal people and hello to the people who have read this book and who want to discuss it with me. So straight away at the beginning I was just like oh my god shit is literally going down and I was like oh my god Damon is just not being himself at all and I was just like surely surely he's pretending this can't be right because I want Damon Black to come back and he was just acting really weird and I was like no come back Damon. I felt so so sorry for Katie just several moments throughout this book not just when Damon was acting really weird but when she lost her mum and that was just oh my god I was so shocked that that actually happened I just I just had to stop because my brain had like a freezing moment and I was just like really did, did that actually just happen and to find out that it actually did I was just like no no and I was repeating that word over and over and shaking my head at the book just no no this can't be happening I thought Damon was just pretending when he was like under the control thing but it just turns out that it was quite strong hence D being really really affected by it but it just made it a lot more interesting because I was just like what is going to happen now because they're all acting strangely and like the hatred towards humans. In the book when Katie just said that she misses books and blogging I was just sort of like oh my god. I connect with Katie so much because she's a book blogger and a reviewer just like myself plus she has the awesome name Katie as well and I just I love her to pieces she's just a fantastic 
main girl protagonist. Now what made this book interesting was when they joined forces with the Aram and I was just like, yes, this is pretty damn kick ass. I want to see what's going to happen next. And it was just, it was just, oh my God. When you just think that D is lost, she comes back and I was like, yes, welcome back D because D, I, I felt like she is one of my very own best friends. Like I just, I love her to pieces. And if I could meet her in real life, I would fangirl. I'd be like, D, you have to be my best friend because she's just so, so cool. And she sparkles throughout the pages and she's like sunshine. She just is so bright and happy and you just, you can't help but want to be friends with her. So when she came back, I was just like, yay, D. I had to turn the fan on because I was getting all hot and serious and flustered. But near towards the end when Damon and Katie sort of said together to each other, I was just like, oh my god, please do, do not kill them because I would just, I would just not like that. But then the Aram arrive on time and I was just like, perfect timing guys because I was seriously ready to throw the book out the window. <laughs> and then the moment when I thought that Damon was gonna die, I was just like, no, they can't kill Damon. There is no luck series without Damon Black. And then we finally move on to the epilogue where we just see what happens 11 months later and Damon and Katie, they go off to college, which is what they wanted to do. And I was just like, oh my God, this is just turning to such a perfect book. And they're planning for a marriage. Katie's got a ring on her finger and I was just, God's completely gushing inside as you can tell. And then there's Beth and Dawson's baby which was born and they called her Ashley and, her, and it's a girl and I was just like oh my god it's just oh. so many amazing things happened in this book and I just I wrote so so many notes on this as I was reading along and I couldn't put this book down. I just I kept on wanting to read more and more and more and it was just, it was amazing and completely flawless. So, so good. So it completely deserved being a five star rating book. So, just no words to say really, apart from how much I love this book and how much I love Jennifer Armantrout. Her writing is just amazing as always. She's one of my favourite authors and will probably always remain to be because she has never let me down. All of her books are five star ratings for me so far. Flawless, perfection, amazing. I can't think of any more words to cover this, but I just, you need to just take a moment and think, my God, this series is now over. What am I going to do in my life? So guys, that's the end of my review and book talk for Opposition by Jennifer Armand Trout, the fifth and final book in the Lux series. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please do let me know down in the comments box below what you thought about this book, whether you agreed with me on certain things, and we can gush and fangirl about this book together. But I hope you have enjoyed it all the same. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all to pieces. Give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and if you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Just keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see you all in my next video.